wanted to touch on a very important hormone called DHEA as it relates to menopause. There are definitely a lot of therapeutic benefits for men, but I'm going to mainly focus on the benefits of using DHEA for women. Now, what is DHEA? It's a steroid hormone precursor. In other words, in your body, you have a lot of different hormones, and hormones can be made from proteins or cholesterol. And so cholesterol is like a building block for steroid hormones. So you have cholesterol, which is a precursor for DHEA, and DHEA is a precursor for estrogen, androgens, and a lot of the other steroid hormones. Now, the other interesting thing about DHEA is that it is one of the most abundant circulating steroids in the human body. And because it's a precursor for so many other hormones, when you get older, DHEA diminishes greatly. It can drop to levels of 70 to 80 percent of what you had when you're younger. Now, what does it mean if you're a female going through menopause? Well, the older you get, the less estrogen you're going to have, the less androgen you're going to have. And DHEA is sold as a supplement. You can get it over the counter. It's very easy to get. It's also sold as a medication. And as a side note, you can increase your DHEA by exercising, by fasting, and calorie restriction. Having enough DHEA also helps protect against insulin resistance. So without DHEA, you can actually have higher amounts of insulin in the body, and it can affect your weight, your metabolism, and many other things. Now, I'm going to get into what DHEA is used for, but I want to make a special uh, point you want to start out with very low amounts, okay? Like between 10 milligrams and 30 milligrams per day. Why? Because if you take too much, you can end up making too many androgens. And if you're female, you don't want too many androgens. You want just the right amount. So you may find that you're getting acne, oily skin, uh, hair growth through your body that you don't want. Now, if you're a man and you're watching this, um, you usually can take a little bit more between 50 100 milligrams simply because your body has a lot more androgens than women. Okay, so what is it used for? It's used in adrenal insufficiency. So if you have adrenal problems, like you don't have enough adrenal function, uh, there's a condition called Addison's where your adrenals aren't even working, uh, this would be very beneficial. And that is because DHEA is made by your adrenals as well as the gonads, ovaries and testicles. All right, it's also used in menopausal hormone therapy. The third use is in treating painful sexual intercourse due to vaginal atrophy. And the last benefit for females is it does increase your libido. So if you want to try this, make sure you start off with very small amounts and then gradually increase until you achieve your goal. Now, one little point before you take DHEA, you don't want to take DHEA if you already have too much estrogen or too much androgen. So if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome where you have too much androgen, you don't want to take this because you're going to end up with acne, oily skin, and more body hair. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.